let's understand the Wegener theory. Okay, let's understand the Wegener theory. One, before Wegener gave his theory, there were two philosophers. One was your Edward Swiss. He said that Sial, Sima and Knife is the interior of the earth. Sial, Sima and the Knife is the interior of the earth. Oceans are nothing but exposed Sima. So, what are oceans? They are nothing but the exposed Sima. Okay, this is and this Jeffrey, Harold Jeffrey, he was saying that this was one theory before Wegener. Okay, and Jeffrey was saying that the continents, they are permanent. The size, the shape, they are the permanent things. That is what, this is, the, this is called as the permanency of the earth. That is what Jeffrey was saying. Moving on, understanding the continental drift theory. Here. Then came Wegener. Wegener said that no, the continents move. Okay. He said that the continents move. And how has the continent moved? The continents have moved like this. Can you see? He says this was the initial continent. The initially the continents were together. All the continents were together in the southern hemisphere. And lately the continent, they have moved north and they have moved east. So the continent, all the continents were together in the southern hemisphere. But the later the continent have broken and the continents have moved westward and eastwards. If you look at the Wegener theory, if you look at Wegener theory, that's what Wegener said. He said that the entire continent initially were together. They were together. But later, the continents, they started moving. The continents, they started moving northwards and eastwards. And this one single continent, all the continents together as one land mass was known as Pangaea. And the huge ocean which surrounded was the Panthalassa. Then the continents were moving. They split into two parts. One part was called as Laurasia, the northern part. Whereas the southern part was called as Gondwana. And the sea between the northern part and the southern part was known as Tethys Sea. This is known as Tethys Sea. Then what happened? Again the continent, they moved northward and eastward. Therefore, they have now formed this. They have now formed this. This is the present day shape of the continent. So, as per Wegener, the continents have moved. Yes, they have moved. How have they moved? Firstly, they were all together. This is known as Pangaea. There was huge water body called as Panthalassa. Then the continents broke. The continents moved northward and the eastward. So, here it broke into Laurasia and Gondwana. Okay, it broke into two parts. The northern part is Laurasia, the southern part is Gondwana and in between was the Tethys Sea. Again, it broke and it has now become like this. So, this is how he is explaining the movements of the continent. So, if you have to look again at the initial graph, if you have to again look. So, as per Wegener, this is how the continents moved. This is how the continent initially all together, then it became two parts. The, the Laurasia, the northern part, the southern part is Gondwana, the mid sea was Tethy sea, again there was movement and you can see this is the movement, the Indian movement, the Australian movement, the southern Antarctica movement and this is the present day shape of the continent. That's what Wegener said. So, Wegener theory was so, the Wegener's theory was like this. There was one, initially, there was one super continent called as Pangaea. There was one super continent called as Pangaea. There was a super continent called as Pangaea. Then there was a super ocean called as Panthalassa. The Pangaea was mostly in the southern hemisphere, we saw. Then, in the mid Mesozoic time, it broke into two parts. The northern part is called as Laurasia, the southern part as Gondwana, and in between was the Tethy Sea, and then it has led to the present day continent. 
the present day continent then wegner said as the continents were moving as the continent were moving they formed various features they formed various features like fold mountains like islands like volcanoes like earthquakes because the seal was floating over sima so it was a seal that was floating over sima and as the continent was moving as the seal was moving over sima it formed various features like the fold mountain like the islands like the volcanoes like the earthquake so did you understand the story of wegener what is wegener trying to say 